Welcome back to taking a look at the Trinity calendar. In this episode we'll show you how some of our clients have used the calendar plus the scheduling capabilities to greatly increase the efficiency of their business operations. Of course in the first instance here you saw how they can schedule these meetings and we've given you the full capability to be able to do that. Now let's take a look at how some of the other clients have used it. This instance of the calendar is for one of our clients called Savati Therapeutics. They scheduled their therapist for home health care therapy. So what you see here is one therapist with their 37 patients. It's been filtered down already and how that displays for that therapist so they can get optimal scheduling for them during the week. If I hover over these you can see that it shows me additional information about each of the patients, some of their diagnostics and other information. Also at the top you can see the planned patients here. These are ones that have not been scheduled right into the calendar yet. They'll give The therapist will give them the call and when they do they'll then drag and drop them into the correct position so that they're scheduled properly on the calendar. Savati has significantly increased their therapist utilization since implementing this calendar. Being able to see every single therapist, their schedule, and how they're taking care of their patients. This instance of the Trinity calendar was deployed by a company that needed to schedule their crews who did various work out there in the field as you can see. Not only can you see these day, these are day long tasks or multiple day tasks because of the large size of the work that takes place, but there's a lot of a few other new features here that we haven't shown yet in the other Trinity calendars. First if I click on uh, one of the tasks you can clearly see there's additional information just like on the other one, but let's say we need to reschedule that team, these are teams or crews that are doing the work. Let's say we need to reschedule that crew for whatever reason to another crew or that job to another crew. They can easily select this from the drop down within the calendar and assign that to another crew. Of course we can go to the task or the project within QuickBase and also they have a daily log. No matter how long a job is, in this case four days, they have to fill out a daily log for each day. This takes them right to that daily log in QuickBase. There's the map features, which comes in great in this instance because I can find this on a map the first day we're going there and know where to go. I can mark the task complete. I can remove that task, of course. And in this case, removal puts it back in an unscheduled task. It does not delete it, like in the calendar that you've seen, the other the meeting calendar. And then we can also copy it. Sometimes a task goes over multiple, you know, it's only scheduled for one day, it takes longer than that. They can actually copy this task and place it onto the calendar. Let's close that. They have their unscheduled task here, and then, of course, the features that we've shown you in the other calendars where they can just show what they want to show within the calendar for better scheduling. And like I said, unscheduled tasks here can be scheduled into certain slots. They so can drag and drop them into that slot. That's then scheduled. You can see there are no unscheduled tasks anymore. And if I want to remove that, it'll go back to an unscheduled task. So that's just another instance. This is a more complex uh, implementation of the Trinity calendar. Does great for scheduling crews over time. Again, month, week, and day views moving between days. One other deployment of this calendar is the ability to do it on a mobile device. So you can see the desktop here, how you can of course dock it, and you could it just could be on a tablet with no problem. But many of the users out there just have smartphones, whether it's an iPhone or a uh, smart you know, device in Android. So here's the same calendar deployed on a mobile device. The users can go previous and next day. They have the links that we showed you earlier that can view it on the map. It'll take them right into Google Maps for that and they can also get right to their daily log in QuickBase from this map. Now typically when a user logs in here they just see their tasks for that day and the, any, and the days ahead. This shows multiple but this is a mobile deployment of the calendar for those users that are out in the field. And here's one more uh, example of the Trinity calendar. In this case they're scheduling media assets whether it's edit rooms or cameras or presentations or studios. Uh, each of these represent a block of time that those studios or edit rooms are blocked off. Again same capabilities on hover over in this one and you can even click on the event and go to the event if you want to within the QuickBase application. One other thing that I'll show you in this one that uh, we didn't show you in the other is the ability to control also the colors of each of these so that you can pick the color you want to show up for that specific 
asset in this case or room or whatever you uh, want to track in your calendar. You can see some of the ways that the Trinity Calendar has been implemented. The Visual Calendar and Scheduler is a powerful tool for many companies. Contact Trinity to see how we can implement it for you to improve your business.